Because I want to see another 11 laps of this. Here we go. There he goes. Maybe a little more contact. Oh, he's got a oh! pick. Oh! oh, my gosh. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. What's up, social media world? I'm Boo Carlisle. Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Ass Fault. It is round two of the Star Super Stock Tour today at Lonesome Pine Motorsports Park in Coburn, Virginia. We are already working hard this morning, getting tires ready for these guys. Who's going to fix this up real good this time with some tires? So, uh, we got Fred, Mama Judy, Mr. Jeff Myers with the Southeast Super Trucks who we teamed up with this time. We're getting tires ready. So, it's, uh, it's going to be the most informative thing, but I'm going to try to make one of these vlogs on a race day as a promoter. So, uh, Excuse the hat hair. I got an Alliance Driveway Solutions. They sponsor the championship. I got one of their hats today. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be in the mid teens and uh, got to get going. But y'all hold on. My guru girlfriend here. She getting it set up. She's a social media specialist. Get y'all look at the off turn four. So we're breezy today here. Check them flags out just to blow it. Fast three eighths mile ton of banking in the corners. Let's get her and her. Uh, over here and show y'all Mama Judy's uh, registration tent she got set up. Over here and get her entry free. That's Steve Worthington, one of our loyal stars, Super Stock Tour competitors. Fred getting his banner. He got your banner like you like it, did he? Like it's going to be. There's that attitude Fred loves so much. You know, rest of the year schedule, our next race be at Tri-County Speedway. May 25th with the Cars Tour, got W9 set out, driver info sheets. Mama Judy got one of them brand new stars. So Mama, turn around so we can see that shirt. And get you one at the racetrack. We'll have the online store up soon. Everybody working hard. Got tires situated so far this morning. Beautiful 3 8 mile oval here. If you ain't watch a practice video, go watch it. But when I say it's on the side of a mountain, I ain't kidding. A drag strip on the other side of that mountain. Go kart track over there. A dirt go kart track. And there's a go kart track you can pay to ride behind the grandstands. Yes, sports. He's on a hot streak right now. Let's take a walk down through here and look at everybody. Got a tire set up over there. Y'all seen that earlier? Kyle Lynch from Virginia doing a gear change. At Petty Blue number 16. Other people ain't here yet practice got rained out towards the end yesterday so uh decided to do a little practice they got in there a little crooked they might have been drinking last night and just whipped her in there go here and check out the infield concessions had about 10 11 cars here practicing last night including marlin yoder he got a bunch of attention off the dale jr download that's a pretty nice sweet box they got over there in turn one good grandstands real steep here coburn virginia go over here and check out old Matt Weaver way of looking at concession stand price. Hamburger six dollars. Ooh. Cheeseburger six fifty. But on the pricey side here. They got cold beer up there and the old Bobby Mack was here. Well we'd bet in the grandstand. Said nacho cheese six, chili and cheese. Candy bar two dollars. Can't beat it. I don't know what a chili bun is. Maybe somebody let me know in the comments what a chili bun is. Mountain Dew Kickstart. Haven't seen one of them in a while. Trying to talk to y'all as much as I can because once I get going there won't be much to won't need much vlogging going on. See some of the Southeast Super Trucks is here with Jeff Myers. Really appreciate him teaming up with us this week. I'm gonna team up with him two more times this year. Anderson Motor Speedway and uh, Newport Speedway in Newport, Tennessee. That's gonna be a, a high bank. Let's go over here and check out Virginia tow truck driver, Darren Cocker. What was his father-in-law's car? They brought it back out. They knew it was coming up here. He's gonna race with us when he can. His main focus is just late model program but hey man i know you're busy but is the train on the tracks or not <laughs> we all hope so anyway <laughs> you'll be on the tracks or in the way on the tracks <laughs> the two. get y'all looking straight away i know a lot of y'all hadn't seen the beautiful lonesome pine motorsports park it's a dirt track i think it was two years ago it was like clay valley speedway or something like that got some long straightaway it kind of reminds me sort of martinsville or a caraway speedway but a ton of banking in the corners video don't do it just i'll walk over here and show you we caught up with jeff rorick the gm of here the beautiful lonesome pine motorsports park 
Jeff, not too many people on, on my side of the country know about this place, but we're trying to show it to them. Talk uh, about what y'all doing here. Man, this is the, I to call it the hidden secret of Southwest Virginia. You know, this track was built in 1972. Great history. Uh, Alan Quick, he's still got the track record here. Got his first ASA win here. Dale Earnhardt and all the legends that's run here over the years. This is a fast 3 8 mile track. Trying to bring it back to life, get racing back into Southwest Virginia the way it should be. Everybody knows short track racing struggling. So we're trying to do different things like having you all the stars touring here today. Great to have you guys here. Good looking fast race cars. Of course, Jeff Myers with the South Sea Super Trucks has returned visitors here. So just trying to do things to bring people back and get them used to racing back here to Pine. I'll definitely be beating the cars towards drum next week when we roll into Ace. Hey, we need to go along some Pine. How there you go. I would love to have the cars tour over here. You know, that thing has grown so big and it's really helping short track racing uh, just with the names involved. You know, you put Dale Jr., anybody like that involved. It's going to bring names, and uh, we've got to get these kids involved. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. Not enough young kids now know about the sports, and I can understand that. There's so much going on now. Back when I was young, you know, you had racing. That was it. So, or the get mall. Those kids. Or the mall. That's you it. Go to the yeah. mall or the race yeah, and they're all falling down right now. So, <laughs> very nice guy, Mr. Jeff Roar. Kids, let's go over here and show y'all some making. I like to have me one of them Sunoco signs at the house. Put it between my house and, and Fred's house. See if I can get y'all low. I'm already bending my knees to walk up through here. Maybe I'll do a little bit of justice in the video. That's what uh, me and Jeff Sparks were talking about yesterday, is how far you can dive off in the corners. I came and raced here about three years ago. Brought a, uh, a sharpened knife to a gunfight. It's a beautiful place here. If you ever up around Bristol, it's about 45 minutes to an hour north. There's the dirt go kart track I was telling y'all about. That fun little beer going over there. There's water in it last night. Let's get on back down here. Can't believe we're this ahead of schedule, which we weren't supposed to open the gates till 12 o'clock anyway, but practice be starting soon. I better get off racetrack. I get run over. Mama Judy, See tell everybody what you're thinking, how busy you are this morning. We're I know. gonna do good. We're gonna go good. We're gonna a great busy. practice Friday. Yeah, we're really good, so we'll be good. Don't worry. It's going to come together. Tell everybody about Norton last night, how oh, cool it was. Oh, it was amazing to walk Norton, down Virginia, the street. Norton, Virginia, like was, Mayberry would. Yes. Whole family Especially walked down when today. we got out of the car at the hotel, and they were playing Andy Griffin at the school gym. Yeah, at the school it gym. It was a football game. It was amazing. Well, it's a baseball game, but I mean, everybody <laughs> knows what you're talking about. Everybody loves some Mama Judy time. Uh, your health doing okay since yes, you got passed over good. COVID? There's some it's, comments. It's all good. It's all good. Why the head just getting God is good. That's all I'm going to say. You're getting a little older? Yes. It happens when you get old. It sucks, don't it? <laughs> yes. You can register or you can get you some kicking ass fall hats, swinger speed coat. Big thank you to them. We're going to have a good partnership with them. Got our t-shirts out front. You can buy them. Like I said, $25. Small to extra large. 2X and 3X, $30. Having some new kicking asphalt shirts coming soon. Get over here to the gas tank for the gas sales and the tires. And sweetie air and getting them put up. Big thank you to Five Star Bodies for coming on with us. And uh, Fusion Graphics. I need to go hang up that restart banner. The Fusion Graphics restart banner. Show you, show everybody your thing, Daddy. You made it. Jaeger Metal Fabrication where we daily work at. Tell them what it's going to do. Gonna put a star on the tar, don't let they all know. For the star tour, ain't nobody sliding anything by Fred. Nope. What color nope. paint we using this week? I ain't letting you know. I ain't telling them. You know the video comes out a little bit after. What color we using this week? He won't even tell He's, us. He won't tell us, so. No. I got three colors, I ain't picked one yet. I'm gonna have a star. He so. doesn't even know what he's doing. Y'all need yet. anything like that? Y'all check us out at JaegerMetalFab.com. He even made him some templates to put on the tires. So ain't nobody. Tire game's a big thing in super stock racing, especially with these scuffs. You get five scuffs, they two hundred dollars. And Aaron going to put the new restart banner up. We stopped and picked up yesterday. If you hadn't seen the video, I'll keep saying it the whole video. If you hadn't seen it from yesterday, I don't know what you're waiting on. Go watch it. Big thank you to Michael Falk at Fusion Graphics. Believing in what we're trying to do. Maybe these guys can see they won't fire off too early like they did at Florence. All right, sweetie, we'll put it right here at the fire another line. Southeast Super Truck, they're gonna put their KRC power steering restart zone on the other side of the fence. That way the cameras can see it tonight for Pit Road TV. Damn, Fred brought a whole bag. We borrowed some 
zip ties from Jeff Sparks, the Alliance Driveway Solutions Championship contender. I get a little brain freeze every now and then like I hit the rev limiter when I'm talking. Not the rev limiter, on, on the chip. On the chip. Yeah, show the people. Oh yeah, looking good. Michael Nam's out racing. We'll send him a picture. Damn thing on boy. Look at there, Fred. Good Lord help us out. Fusion graphics. You need graphics for your race car? Check out Michael Fall. Take it away. Pennsylvania. Fence have to go with it with your zip tie. Lord take the banner away. Yes, far. Got a tide over here, darling. There it is. Fusion graphic restart zone. Oh, we got a restart banner up now going down here to Victory Lane see if we can find us a spot for our uh, Trackside Communications of South Carolina Victory Lane banner. Big thank you to Ricky Adams for his support of the Star Super Stock Tour. We can always hear good on our radios when we're racing and when we're putting on races. I can hear Fred hollering and fussing at me just loud and clear. If you need any radios, great prices Ricky's got. Look him up over next Traveler's Rest Speedway in South Carolina. Yeah, we'll see if we can't get somebody to hang it up. Or not hang it up, but hold it up. Can't you volunteers? We'll help Southeast guys. Our shorts are not in. It was metal, and I was just trying to put self tabs on it. It was metal, and I was just putting self tapping screws to it. But then they put that cover over it, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not being responsible. Been out shaking hands, go over here and check out the registration booth. Getting a volt battery uh, check set up. We got some fusion graphics. $100 every pole award winner. Me and Fred going through grading tires now. Trying to make it even for everybody. Make sure everybody gets an evenly shared stack of uh, tires. Like I said earlier, five tires for uh, $200. Tyler and Brad made it. Oh, we had some early morning practice. This over with now. Now we're gonna go over here and get all the barcode numbers off the of tires. That way we can check them at the end of the night. Make sure ain't nobody doing any trickery stuff. Me and Fred are gonna go over here right before time gets time for Mom and Judy to do the peel draw. See which tires they get. These shirts are starting to really go. I don't know if there'll be any left for the uh, online store. Ready to go over there, Fred, and start yeah. getting barcodes? Yeah. You read them to me, all eight of them. I'll write down the last four. I saw the extra small on that shirt. I was like, yeah, I if they got a barcode, ain't rubbed off. Yeah, read them all, Fred. 160. Yep, 48392. It's gonna be a long time, but we're gonna get it done. Me and Fred were going through tires. We seen some vintage cars out here. Seen that Chevelle, and we got Fred excited. We're going across the track. We got about 10 minutes to spare. Got a few of them out here, Fred. Three of them. Yes, sir. Hmm. Old Malibu ASA. Still got some super stock fellas rolling in a little bit late. Hopefully that one won't be used too much tonight. Ain't never good as a promoter when that thing's used. And come to the next race. Try County, May 25th with the Cars Tour. Duffy Sam, what a name. Well, I seen this car race when I was a teenager in the vintage class. Good to see you still going.
racing now. I told y'all to get busy. I tried to keep up with you best I could. I know me and Fred's gonna go watch this Phoenix race. This is what he comes for. Fred! Let's go to Porter over here and watch a vintage race. Got your Mountain Dew? Like, am I right? Hopefully not. That's right. Wanna go watch a vintage race, sweetie? Uh, All right, uh, man. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Why you always pick on her? It's easy know. target. Yeah. Yeah. Who you pick? Fair Duster, Plymouth Duster, or the Chevelle? Falcon. Ford Falcon win. Yeah. The double law face car tonight. Get over here and show you these cars. That, that was not that sound like a slam six. Six cylinder. Slam six. They didn't make the, the 46, I mean, slant six, 46 six cylinder, cylinder was. Yeah. It's slant, the motor's well, like it's that. It's slanted or crooked, it's still six cylinder. Uh, what six. the hell's in that Mountain Dew? That's a nice open trailer right there. I like to have that thing here. Uh, a little bit of shit, it's a whole bunch of shit. Double log face car right there. Hey, that do like when when I was a kid at Lanier Speedway. What? You want better dollar? Yeah. Hey, leave that shit alone. That ain't ours. Our people were looking at it a while ago. And they don't have no for sale sign on it. Well, just, yeah, I'm making it be. Bring him out and do over here and Look. let me win a dollar from you. Yeah, done ripped one of them out. You Which got one you want? Yeah, I got a dollar. I'll Let take the Chevelle. Let me see. I'll take the file. Well, I ain't got no cash on me, but I got a dollar. Take a Chevelle right there. Sticking with the Falcon. Let's see how this plays out. Oh, look who wants to come watch now with us. Look over there. Oh. oh. Want to come watch now, huh? Oh, we gotta have you picture. Hold on, let me get this. What we can put them in the truck? What we buy today? Look like a yard sale. One of our competitors, yeah. Mike Cooper, had some four five on four and three quarter chrome wheels. Hell of a deal. We basically buying three wheels for what one of them new ones cost. Yeah. What happened this and down here? Uh, Six cylinder turn straight instead of being slanted. No, that's probably a flathead. Oh, there's a slant six or the crooked six, as you called it. Uh oh, got to push in. Turn, Duffy, turn. Turn, Duffy. No fire steering. No fire steering. They said real men done that. No fire steering. I, I don't know what the hell that means. You're like a Ford. Hey, it's got a Ford oval on it, so yeah. I go with Ford. Oh. What's that? What do you say? What is that? Chevelle? What do you Oh, he done found another gear. Look at to the lead. What happened? I love loud they just taking turns. They taking turns, hell yeah. it's pro wrestling. This ain't allowed to count. This ain't pro wrestling, pro wrestling, hell it's scripted. Also put up a purse for the fans if one of their drivers beats the star driver everybody gets a go-kart track ticket tonight wow green flag is in the air jeff sparks mullen yoder your leaders they saw off in the turn number one sparks with a little bit of an advantage as they go in the down the back straight away but here comes yoder back to the outside of the number seven chevrolet camaro it is, now that I'm looking at it, I do notice that bump coming out of four. You know, it's pretty 
some of these cars are getting hit pretty violently with it. Well, you know, I watched uh, some pictures on social media here at Olson Fine Motorsports Park uh, about two months ago when they had their season opener practice up here. Marlon Yoder brought his car up here just to get, run some laps around this place because he's never seen it before. Well, clearly it paid off. He's on the outside for the race lead. This is only a 50 lap race, and they're clicking off quickly side by side like this. Yoder backs up a little bit out of turn two, still side by side, knows the number of that seven of sparks, throwing sparks from the bottom side of the racetrack. Wilson, you mentioned the bumps. This racetrack has got a lot of character. You're seeing it with these superstars. Sparks trying to push that rear end just out front of Marlon Yoder's number eight. But uh, Yoder is able to hang on to the outside as more sparks fly out from underneath the seven Camaro there. Oh, well, don't I, say anything too soon. There's yeah. 11 laps to yeah. go. Yeah. Right. What you're talking Marlon about. Yoder taking a there dive bomb to the inside. Oh, oh he could have wiped him out right there, but he did not. I am so thankful that he didn't because I want to see another 11 laps of this. There we go. There he goes. Maybe a little more contact. Oh, he's got a oh, pick. Oh, oh, my gosh. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. I can't even say that. That was a incredible race. We've seen great racing all night. So but uh, I was so looking forward to seeing the ending of that one. The best race since the limited late models. Yes. One prior. Yeah, the one prior. Wow. Away. I'll be over at your leader, Joey Owens, running P2 right now as they work inside the restart zone. Here we're back underway at Lonesome Pine Motorsports Park. I'll be with a great jump that time. But here comes Joey Owens trying to hold off Mike Cooper. This is going to be another battle, boys. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, what we've seen so far is going to be hard to top, but if, I think they can do it. That was close down in three between Owens and Cooper, but they get away from it. And now Owens able to focus up out the windshield, not the mirror. We'll look at that 48 car as we come around, and we'll take 10 laps to go this time by. That's two full hands in the air. 10 to go. Well, you kind of notice on all these cars, too, he's running two GoPros on, on board that roof. Getting probably two different angles, maybe. Maybe a forward and a backward shot. I'd like to see his shot from a couple of minutes ago. Bag or there you go. Uh, dove out of the hat. A bunny anyway. out of the hat. Yeah. <laughs> White flag. I had it all thought up and forgot it all, but uh, half a lap away from a checkered flag for Albi o Ovid for the second time in a row. Car 48 out of turn four now to the checkered flag. Ovid to victory lane out of New Hampshire. Meanwhile, for third spot, you see it there go by the start finish line. That was nearly. One of the local boys, Joey Owen, put the 10-inch tires on, come race with us. Almost runs second. He runs second. Almost got three go-kart rides for everybody. Hopefully they'll eventually make a trip to North Carolina. If not, I really appreciate him coming out. Oh, home track. Well, we're getting wrapped up. Tech's done cleared out. I told y'all I'd video as much as I could. Hate that Sparks and Yoder wrecked for the lead. They're a damn good race for the first 40 laps. But, uh, man, that was good race for the first 38, 39, 40 laps. But everybody cleared in tech. Got a few, few of the out of towners said they'd come back. Uh, hopefully to Tri County. Well, we're going to grab our Fusion Graphics Restart banner, and that's going to end the night. We finally made a promoter video. I know it was all around the place, and it was a bunch here and none there but uh man i get called in 47 different directions at one time but i enjoy the hell out of it so our next race star super talk tour race will be may 25th at tri county motor speedway for round three of the battle for the alliance driveway solutions cup so thank y'all for watching hope y'all enjoyed it. there'll be more street stock commentary coming your way go ahead and sneak in the video like follow subscribe we'll like comment and subscribe we'll get it right one of these days we'll see you at tri county like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all take care.